Yeah, yeah. Um, I'm going to teach the offside curdle, but it's, it's nonsense. And don't want to hurt anybody's feelings out there because I've watched the whole series of instructionals on on the offside cradle. Um, it's very, very dangerous to do against Brazilian Jiu Jitsu guys, especially. So, I'm going to show you what happens if you do an offside cradle, even if you do a really good job. Okay? And believe me, I'm, it's, it's not good. Anyway, so I'll stop talking. So, I've gone in here, he's got his underhook. One of the things I can do is go in here and I can hold tight and I can even get my hands together. And I can work in here. Now, I could hold this for a bit, and I can work to some moves out here. There's actually grimy and stuff, if I can get away with it. My only issue that I really have with this is, as soon as he pops these hands, he's going to stuff me down and get me into a, a kind of inverted backwards triangle, whatever it may be called, um, inverted triangle as I know it. Um, he probably won't choke me out with that, but he'll definitely attack this arm. It happens all the time. Um, I'm really sorry to the person who's instructional that I'm upsetting and it probably works for you and that's fantastic but every time I've tried your stuff I get fired up. Hold the position. 